Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Pater with you. Let's talk about it. We're just going to air it out, people. You guys better stop copying. I got some really wise words here about copy, copycat, copy city, copy, copy. So, let's talk about this issue. It's an issue with YouTube and society and business. You know, not that people do similar things with each other. You know, Coke and Pepsi, Sprite and 7-Up, whatever. I want you to know that if you are in the YouTube community or in the homestead community and you do a little blog or you do a little writing and you write books or if you're on YouTube, by George, don't you dare don't you talk about the same subject that someone else has talked about because you're going to be copying. So I want to talk about this because it's become problematic. I want to let y'all know that if you make soap, if you like to make soap, if you make soap, let me set you where, where the car's not shaking too much. I want you to know that some of the best uh, content out there has been Becky's homestead on making soap. She did that several years ago. And she's got a great YouTube channel. So if you're making soap after Becky, coconut, whatever, I just want you to know that it's going to be assumed that you are copying Becky. Becky, you just keep on it, honey. You just keep making that soap, and you better go put a trademark on it so nobody else on the planet can make soap. Even though you're spending your time to teach people to make soap and to share soap and to change it up and do different things, Nobody, y'all can't do that anymore. No, no, no. Hey, if you like rabbits, I want you to know that nobody does rabbits better than John Null. J. Null Zero, my good old buddy up there in Ohio that came to the Great Appalachian Homesteading Conference. If you have a rabbit, you better sell it or butcher it. You're not allowed to have rabbits anymore because only John can do anything with rabbits. And anything related to rabbits, butchering, tanning, uh, just really great Appalachian style, uh, good old boy living. You boys out there that have these YouTube channels that think you measure up to that or try to, don't try. When hunting season comes, you just go get you a burger and watch football. Don't go out and try to kill yourself a deer and make do for your family because John's cornered that market and he does all of that and does it better than any of y'all out there. Don't. Uh-uh. Woo! Don't you do it. No more deer meat for you. Uh, let's talk about... Oh, and he makes some mean Salisbury steak. I'm going to go down to Knoxville and tell my Aunt Jean, who's in her 70s, that's been making Salisbury steak for about 50 years and has a mean recipe. I'm going to tell her to shove it. No more Salisbury steak for her because John's got it. He's cornered the market on there. Uh, if you want to talk about uh, Great Depression cooking or living or anything related... Bless her heart, I miss her every day. Her channel still thrives. Clara, Great Depression Cooking. Y'all can't do like Clara, okay? You can't talk about it. Even though she's trying to educate us young folks and to spread the word about hard times and to teach ourselves, forget it. You're copying somebody. You better not do it. You better, better, better not. Hey, speaking of, I just want to have an open moment here. It didn't occur to me. I had my Nana on for the first time in a video. Y'all have met her. Love Nana. Okay, Nana grew up during the, Great, uh, during the Great Depression as a young girl and has many memories of it and things like that. My friend Rachel, the Patriot nurse, I think, I don't, I'll have to look back, but I am pretty sure maybe, gosh, she probably five or six years ago, she, I think she interviewed her papa on a porch or something like that, talked about stuff, things like that. I copied you. I copied you. It doesn't matter if I have a Nana. It doesn't matter if Nana grew up in East Tennessee during the Great Depression and has all kinds of stories of her own. You are the only one, Rachel, that can talk about the Great Depression in terms of your papa. Okay, so the rest of you out there that have any information about the Great Depression or a Nana or a papa that can all talk about different stories of their life and share, put it away, sister. Put it away. Hey, Wanda, I'm calling you out. By lordy. I see you kind of wearing them overalls. Mm-hmm. Kind of find that funny. That's a little bit sinister. Since I can only wear overalls since I have an injured leg and all of a sudden you're sporting them sassy things, even though your husband wears them every day and they're the most comfortable things you can wear during homesteading and women have been wearing them for a long time, even though women as of even like my great-great-grandmother did back in the 1920s. She didn't wear skirts. She wore overalls. Doesn't matter. I know you're copying me. The cat's out of the bag, you copycat. No more overalls for you, girl. No more. Hey, it's pretty 
doggone obvious. Some of you channels out there that suddenly have drones, you better take that back to the Apple Store or Best Buy because we all know who the big daddies are of the whole deal with the drones. Wrangler Star and Justin, not that anybody would ever want to add to their channels, show better footage of things, make their videos better, you know, be a little interesting. Hey, they already started that phenomenon, so you're just a copycat starry girlfriend. Let's talk about it. Everybody and their mom is off grid now, and you cornered that market. So anybody that had a YouTube channel after Starry Hilder, and you have off grid in your title, you better start. You better go in and change it. You better get. You better get busy because I'm pretty sure that she is going to go and copyright that to where you can't even use the word off grid. So I guess you'll just be homely living or something like that. You know, you'll be uh, out in the stick. You know, I don't I don't know what you'll call yourself because you're copycatting. You cannot discuss off-grid living anymore. Okay? You cannot do it. You do not have permission. Somebody else has already talked about it somewhere, somehow. It might have been a year ago, it might have been five years ago. It might even have been last week. I don't know. But you can't do that anymore. So just to let, oh, hey, 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 one more time. I gotta say this too. All of you channels right now that are pulling garlic up good God Almighty, pulling garlic up out of the ground. I haven't seen these videos because I didn't grow any garlic this year, which I regret, but um, long story, squirrel, but speaking of squirrel, anybody that's killed a squirrel, or eats a squirrel, or has a squirrel in their yard, I guess I'm copying you. But long story short, any of y'all out there that these five, six, seven, ten channels that I am subscribed to, that I don't get to watch a lot, but I see your thumbnails, I'm like, my Lord, how many people are pulling garlic this year? and braiding garlic. What to do with garlic? Garlic powder, garlic cheese, braiding gar... I want to know who copied each other first and started the copycat chain on the garlic this week because it is doing something crazy. Y'all better stop that stuff now. Somebody, the first person that put a video out about growing garlic, the, all the rest of you had to let, you, need, you better let it rot. Let it rot. Don't talk about it. Don't braid it. Just stick it where the sun don't shine, sister. Um, anything? Oh, cattle panels. Let me tell you, I've picked up on it. You're caught red-handed. You're caught. Hey, y'all last year and the year before that didn't hurt, that can't, you know, have got a black thumb and can't grow anything if you tried and suddenly you've got cattle panels and you're having these wonderful gardens and you're being self-sustainable for your family. You copied me. You went and got a cattle panel. I'm already in touch with my local co-op. We're going to put a claim on that. It's like, hey, I'm going to be Daryl from The Walking Dead. Do you watch that? Because I don't miss it. You know, you have to lay claim to something. If you see something and you think somebody else might want it or have something to do with it or might partake of it, you have to say claim. So let me right now put my claim down so that nobody thinks that I'm copying. Okay, so I know in the next couple of months, I'm going to probably, because just, hey, I know I'm going to be milking a cow. I kind of showed that this week. I'm going to be milking a cow, and I'm going to be milking goats. So I guess I need to put a claim on that. But I'm going to tell Art and Bree, hey, hey, Bree, you take that cow on down back to your neighbor, and you tell them to keep it because you're copying Patera. You got a milk cow for your family because you want raw milk and, and you want to be uh, further along with self-sustainability. But I'm laying claim to that. I've been milking a cow before you. And we all know that. So you can't make a video on that anymore. Art, Art it's just what's going to have to be, brother. I mean, I'm sorry to tell you. You're not allowed to have a milk cow. Uh, and I don't, who started chickens? I don't know which, there's a lot of folks that had chickens before me. I guess I'm out of luck. So let me just tell you what I'm going to be doing the next couple months. I am guaranteeing you, first and foremost, next year, let me do a long shot. Next spring, I've already said this to my husband, we ain't going without sweet potatoes again. I didn't do that this year because I pulled back. Honey, we are growing sweet potatoes next year. Danny, I am copying you. Even though I don't grow the same type that you do, I actually, or do you grow Beauregard? I'm going to be growing Beauregard. I, I really like them. So whether or not, I'm just going to let you know I'm copying you. And even though I mound mine, I do a totally different technique than yours. I'm going to copy you, brother. And I might be in overalls too. So double copy. But tell Wanda she can't wear any because she was wearing them after me. So put them up. 
<laughs> so I just want to let you know that we're pushing into midsummer. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of canning videos, hopefully. I'm really looking forward to canning some dilly beans. I made a video on that last year, so if you've made one since, I guess you're copying me. <laughs> but I'm going to make some more, and um, I'm growing a lot of herbs this year. I've got comfrey and sage and lots of different things. So if you, hey, I guess if you have anything to do with herbs, I'm going to copy you. But I just want to let you know I'm laying claim to it, just to let you know I'm copying you. I guess I'm, I'm laying claim, 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 claim. Where's Daryl? Michonne, put that, put it away. I'm laying claim right now. Put it. No, Rick, walk the other way. Walk the other way. No, no, walk the other way. So I'm laying claim to that. Uh, sometime in the early fall, I'm going to make apple butter. I didn't make apple butter last year because I had a lot left over, but I'm running low. So I'm going to be making some apple butter, and I make some mean apple butter. I may not do other things right, but I do apple butter right. I'm going to make apple butter. So I'm letting you know, I'm forecasting you out that when I make apple butter this fall, if you are too, I'm laying claim to it. If you throw pumpkins out to chickens to help give them something to gnaw on and have fun with and deworm, and I've got a great Pyrenees that loves pumpkins, not that you've shown that before. Uh, I guess, yeah, I'm laying claim. Claim. And there's holidays coming up. You know, there's things coming up in the fall. You know, there's going to be, uh, my gosh, I may cook a turkey at Christmas time. Uh, I'm going to put a wreath on my door and put up a Christmas tree. So if any of y'all do that, mm -mm, I'm laying claim to that get it uh, and last but not least so I'll shut up just to come back to this whole dairy thing if you have anything to do with milk and a cow lots of butter because I'm missing my butter holy cow uh, I'm claiming that I'm claiming that I'm claiming that and I have oh by the way since we rendered all of our lard um, you know I guess I, I think the Pratts did something with lard I think you all did right because you, you you had pigs like I did this year so you've got lard I'm copying you I won't lay claim to that. I guess technically you have the claim to that. So I'm copying you. I'm copying you. So let's just all air the dirty laundry. And so if you don't, uh, if you ever have a homestead and you ever do anything that's kind of self-sustainable, uh, if anybody before you has done it, you are not allowed to do it anymore. I'm sorry because people are going to make assumptions otherwise, right? Or you might start making assumptions. You're going to start thinking that people copy you. And we all know the first three letters of the word assumption, A double, A double S, and nobody wants to be that. So no more copying. So y'all rewind this video and take note of what's going on. Oh, 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 I lay claim, I lay claim, I claim. From now on, nobody ever ever is allowed to have like a homesteading like teach class that teaches or maybe you get together and do something with others well I guess that means I can't either because Mother Earth News has Mother Earth News Fair so I guess I'll have to cancel the Great Appalachian Homesteading Conference it'll be my third year and because somebody else somewhere decided to do that I guess that means I can't and any of y'all that come after me we all know you copied that's ridiculous, but it's just the way that it is. Check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Hope y'all fare well with coming up with different content because I guess we're all just in the world of copycat. Y'all take care out there.